Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the Rapid Quad Zip Backpack from 511. And uh, over my experience of reviewing products, I've probably only checked out maybe, I don't know, maybe a half dozen to a dozen total uh, 511 products. So I'm interested to learn a little bit more about them as far as not just like what I can read on their website, but actually using uh, their gear. So this bag was sent to me from 511 in conjunction with Premier Body Armor. And we're gonna look at one of their ballistic panels that is actually inside uh, this pack. So first thing I'm gonna tell you is you can get it in a couple different colors. This has got kind of a blue grayish tone. Um, there is a black one. There's also one that's in kind of a gray tan. It's not coyote, but um, they, I'll, I'll put the, uh, the links down below so you can check them out. But I would say what they're trying to do with these packs is have a, a little bit of a tactical feel, but also a little bit more subtle. Certainly Molly says tactical, um, but this color doesn't say as tactical as maybe some of the other packs out there made by you know tactical supply companies. Um, this bag, I think, can be used for a variety of different things. I have it set up as an EDC bag. I'm gonna tell you toward the end of the video, after we talk through some of the features, why I don't like it as an EDC bag. Why I do think it's gonna be a good day hiking pack or a grab and go bag, or you know, you're headed to the city and you gotta pack some coats and maybe some lunch and some other things into the bag. So let me talk through some of the features and um, then you'll decide if this is a bag that might be good for you and fit into one of your systems. So I am shooting this video in the back of a, actually a car just because it's really wet everywhere else. Um, if you see the RAV4 um, logo and information underneath there, I'm not advertising for Toyota. I'm actually borrowing this car from a friend because our car is in the shop. So that being said, um, as you can see on the outside of the pack, we do have Molly here so you can attach extra gear to the outside. We also have a Molly strip here that also has hook and loop so you can attach uh, items that have Velcro, obviously. Um, you do have four compression straps, so one, two, three, four, and you can obviously use that to compress the bag but also to store gear along the sides. We do have a zipper here which goes down about to, let's see, about up to the third strip of Molly. So you've got a rectangle there. It does have a little bit of internal organization. Um, it, it holds a couple pens well. I actually found the rest of the pockets inside there are just really, they're kind of small for me. I would like deeper pockets and have them be a little bit more snug. They're a little bit loose. So I put some pens in there. I've got my, um, this product, I forget the name of it here, the rip spool from Exotac that's got some um, fishing line, it's got a needle inside, it's got some duct tape here on the outside. So I put that in, I just want to have that with me, it's just an everyday carry item. And then up here on the top, there's another pocket and then you have the 511 logo with a um, with hook and loop, uh, basically a hook and loop panel. So you can add another patch there if you want. This is more of just kind of a, a large pouch that you can just toss things in. So I've got some wet wipes, I've got some extra pens, I've got a tied to go stick. And um, yeah, so you've got that that pocket and then this pocket and then again if you want to put extra gear here on the outside you could do that as well now let me flip it over to the other side show you some of the features and then we'll go inside the bag all right so on the other side first thing i'll tell you is that nicely contoured um, straps the bag is quite comfortable i had this thing loaded up pretty heavy um, but i do find it very comfortable to wear you got qd buckles here if you want to take the um the bag off quickly obviously and then Pretty good airflow. Um, because I'm not gonna load this bag up super heavy, I don't need this to be you know, an immense amount of cutouts to let airflow in there. Um, I'd like to see it, these maybe be a little bit deeper, but not a ton. I think overall they are, uh, they're pretty good. And uh, yeah, the padding, is, the padding is comfortable. Up here on the top, we have a nice grab handle. This thing is very, I'm just very reinforced, well stitched in there. This is access into the main part of the bag. Um, you can see here we have hook and loop which you can open up this, and now you can see you can hang your hydration bladder, and then down inside, probably about down halfway, uh, there is a hook and loop panel so you could put a holster in there. Now, I don't think it's gonna be very comfortable, honestly, this is some nice padding, but you know, if you have, I would say, a full-size pistol in there, it's, gonna, it's definitely gonna be reshaping that section of the bag and riding up against your back. So that's, um, I think with a backpack, I feel that differently than if it's like a cross crossbody bag, just because of how snug this is up against my back. If you wear your, um, your shoulder straps loosely, probably wouldn't be a big deal. But I personally, I just would prefer to have the water bladder in there, which kind of flattens out and spreads itself out when, you, um, when you're carrying it, as opposed to a pistol with a holster um, inside that, part, that portion of the bag. So one thing that's cool about the bag is that because you have those four compression straps, where I have this set up, you can basically flop this section of the bag down and get full access to everything inside without unzipping it the entire way. So if you wanna totally undo the compression straps, it'll lie basically clamshell style down totally flat. But I like how this is set up. We do have uh, a zipper to get into more gear. I've got like my electronics and some plugs and things there. 
um, you can get in from either side, obviously. Then you can see back here, I've got my laptop. I've got a couple of pieces of paperwork. Let me unsnap the uh, compression straps. And now you can see into the rest of the bag. You can see we have another section down here. That's where I've stored my plugs for my computer. I've got my Bible and a journal. You can throw books in there, obviously. This is the section to hold your laptop and it'll fit, I think, up to a 15 inch laptop. So that's nice. And then behind that, we have the panel from Premier Body Armor. So let me take this out. And Premier works with a lot of different companies, 511, Vertex. I think they're starting to work in Maxpedition over the last year. So you can get panels that will fit into the specific bags that you're looking for. Um, and this just slides in there. It's nice and secure. Put that down for a little bit more security. Um, these are made to withstand different calibers of pistols. So this is not going to stand up against, you know, an AR platform or something like that. But it is another level of uh, protection depending on what you're doing as far as your career or where you're traveling maybe. Another cool thing about this is that there's a water bottle holder internally. I think that is an awesome, awesome win. Um, I was looking at the Helicon uh, Groundhog backpack and they have a mesh pocket that you can expand out and put a water bottle on the outside. I think that's great. But having an internal one is great as well. I like my bottle, my um, packs to be really slick. And so, you know, I don't like a lot of things hanging on the outside. So I like the idea of the water bottle inside. Now, the concept behind the quad zip is that you have quad four uh, zippers, particularly on the main compartment. But even on some of the other compartments, you saw there's multiple ways to get in. So the cool thing about this is if you've got a piece of gear down at the bottom, you don't have to unzip the entire thing. You can unzip half, you know, unzip this a third of the way, whatever, reach in, grab your coat and then zip it back down. You have something at the top of the pack, you can do it uh, with that as well. Um, I didn't find that's like, uh, oh, now I need to grab something in there, and so I'm using the quad zips all the time. But they are good quality zippers, they're YKK, so it's nice to have a good quality zipper and a lot of them to get different access points into the bag. So that's the concept basically behind the quad zip. Now over here on the side, this is what I'm showing you to tell you why I don't like it as an EDC bag. Um, it just, it's too floppy. Um, it kind of reminds me of the SOGS backpacks. They have this panel up top that you can put sunglasses in, um, but you really need the bag to be full to have it kind of filled out. So when the bag is not full, this whole upper section you can see just kind of flops down like that. I just don't like the way that rides. I like this to be up. And so that necessitates that you have to put a lot of gear in the bag. Now, for an for a day hike, for you know, doing some some um, going out to the range, maybe you want to stick a coat in there, a bunch of other gear. I think filling out this bag, it's it's very comfortable and it's very nicely made. Honestly, I, I've been impressed with the quality and the experience I've had with it. But for everyday carry, I just don't carry enough gear, and that kind of just makes it floppy like this. And I found that with the um, I think it's the Rush as well. It's just kind of that's that's how it falls. And I just, that's a preference thing. For me, I just don't like that. I want a bag that's got nice form to it and doesn't feel like it's, when I have stuff in this upper section, it feels like this is moving around a lot. I don't want it to be, I just want it to be a little bit more stable when I'm carrying the bag. So obviously, based on my comments about using this as an EDC bag, you're gonna know that I'm gonna say, yeah, it's not ultimately, for me at least, built for an EDC. It's built for short excursions, day hikes, bushcrafting. Um, you can throw it as an emergency bag in your car if you can get all the gear that you need into it. Um, it's kind of a weird thing for me because I like the various colors. I like the the kind of mix between, um, you know, more tactical with the Molly and then a little bit more gray man or a little bit more subtle with the different color options and setups. Um, they offer some pretty good organization inside and yet what I would use it most often for would be everyday carry and it just doesn't fit into that for me. So um, yeah, overall, I mean, the quality, the build, the comfort, high. I just got to find a particular use for it and that's, you know, what you need to think about if you're going to purchase this bag. Price point for this is really quite good. It's under a hundred bucks. It was like $94 the last time I checked. The other cool thing is that you could put the Premier Body Armor panels into these bags and, you know, it's just another added level of protection for, again, if that fits into your lifestyle or, or your uh, the way you'll be using the bag. So let me hear from you guys, um, I want to hear a couple things. A about this bag, and then B about other other 511 bags that you like or don't like. Um, I I haven't had a ton of exposure to them. I've met them at Shot Show and talked to different people. Um, I've got a connection with them now through a couple different people I know in the industry. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to test out more of their bags or you know like yeah they're cool, but I'm going to focus on some other ones. So uh, yeah, let's hear that in the comment section below. As always, thanks for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.